Welcome to beer time. We moved 10 feet over from my computer desk to the front room. I hope you enjoy that a little bit more. Anyway, went to the Wild Leap Brewery last weekend, which is, as we know, my favorite brewery currently and probably will continue to be so for quite some time out of LaGrange, Georgia, and had a little tease, a little taste of an amazing beer. Stole a little sip out of my buddy's glass and had to go get some of my own to drink here and to share with you guys. But we have the ETA Transcontinental IPA. As we can see here, typical buffalo. It's a nice little blue, teal, green labeling. We know I don't do so good with colors. But this one just pours so beautifully and tastes even better. As long as that one little sip wasn't a, a lie, right? Look at that there. Woo! Can't see no fingers on that one. Nice and thick. Smells like an IPA. Shock on that one. God, it is. It is that good. Holy moly. It's so soft. It's... The, the, the mouth feel of it like it has a thickness to it but not in a gross way as in it's this super high quality wonderful beer that just has a little something extra to it I, I mean it's just it's delicate but yet still being a very strong well balanced citrusy IPA I think it's coming in I think it's a 7.5 IBU it is or ABV IBU, I don't know. I don't think Wildly really puts that out. Also, it's, it's not really that high anyway. Um, but we got Born in the Sky, Brewed on the Ground. Ugh, God, it's good. ETA is a first-class transcontinental IPA that pairs the comfort of a soft, fluffy mouthfeel with the pleasure of a smooth and juicy hop combination. I don't know how I'm going to say it any better than the can does already. But it's just so good. It's so smooth and not in a bland, boring way. Like the beer is just so silky smooth. From the initial taste to the mouthfeel, the swallow, the finish, everything just glides so well down your gullet into your gut. Because it's just, I mean, it's just a phenomenal beer. Carbonation's perfect. It's just hazy enough. Plenty of citrusy flavor to it. Tons of hop flavoring still. It's not overpowered by the citrus and vice versa. It's just the right amount. And this is what Wild Leap, I believe, is their true strength. Because every IPA they put out does this specifically. Now, I don't know. You might, if you've been around since the beginning of the channel, you probably know that Wild Leap is the, actually the brewery that really got me into IPAs. I had started drinking Chance IPA. And learn, oh, I actually do like IPAs, and it ventured out from there. So maybe I'm a bit partial, or maybe it's a taste that's a bit familiar being from that same brewery. But their IPAs, as far as a enjoyable, you want to buy it, you want to continue to drink it kind of beer, really cannot be beaten. Um, Wildly, I, I haven't had a bad Wild Leaf beer yet. Uh, it's even better if you go to the brewery, because they do have a lot of beers you can't buy in stores. And those are even better than the one they push out. Luckily for me, I live 20 minutes away from that brewery, and all the bars and grocery stores around here carry their beer. So I don't have to go down there, but I like to because it it's better down there. you got a much wider selection, and it's, it's really a great environment on top of that. But boy, is this, this is a good one. This is really good. This is equally as good, if not better, than Chance IPA. It's not as good as some other, like, super fine, you know, taproom-only kind of beers they have. But as far as what you're going to buy in the can, this may very well be the best one. Um, I've had much better on draft from them. They also tend to be a little pricey and very limited. So I understand that, you know, we have the difference between what we what, what, what they're going to push out to all the stores and then their select kegs, right? But I think ETA... If you haven't had a Wild Leap IPA yet, is an absolute must-buy. 
If you have had a Wild Leap IPA before, you probably understand what I'm talking about. And it's no longer a must buy. It would be just a should buy. It is a very solid, fun, friendly, delicious IPA. Very smooth, very soft, subtle, yet still chock full of flavor. You'll love it. Trust me on this one. Go give it a go. I'll see you guys next time.